For heat pumps to work efficiently, we need flow. And this does two things. It will mean the heat pump's plate heat exchanger will work at maximum efficiency, and we can use the lowest possible flow temperature, both of which maximize the heat pump's scop. Any restrictions, such as microbore pipework, could drag our scops right back down again. Microbore pipework is any pipework smaller than 15 millimeters in diameter. Quick tip, if you want to measure your pipework, take an adjustable spanner, adjust it around the pipework tight, and measure the gap. These come in 6, 8, 10, and 12 millimeters, which restricts flow. If you have plastic pipework, that's even worse, as it's got little inserts that even further restrict the flow. Generally, the smaller the pipe, the greater the problem. But microbore pipework doesn't necessarily mean you have to repipe your whole house. If you're either well insulated or an attached house or flat, which is essentially the same as being well insulated, or have a small load, say six kilowatts or below, your property could be absolutely fine on microbore, especially if you have 12 millimeter pipe. Don't get me wrong, microbore is not the best. If it's kicked or knocked, it can easily restrict flow, which could cause a raft of problems, which will essentially end up with your heat pump having to run hotter or cycle more. But it can work and work very efficiently and might save you the agony and disruption of ripping your whole house apart. To find out if your pipework is too small, use this graph and our Does My Pipework Need Upgrading for a Heat Pump video and article to check. If you are within these approximate limits, you may be okay, but the other issue with microbore pipework is volume. To get around this, here's our first tip. Use a good control strategy or a volumizer. If your issue is not flow, but volume, there's two simple solutions. You can install what's known as a volumizer on the return pipe to elongate your heat pump cycles and give more volume for heat pump defrost cycles. Or, and my preferred approach if I had to choose, use a good control strategy. For those in the know, this means a more open loop strategy. But we're gonna do a video and infographic soon exactly on this and the exact advice that we give our own customers. Tip number two, increase insulation. If your problem is less about volume and more about resistance to flow, insulate your property. If you half your heat load, you half your required flow rate. Half your flow rate and you quarter your resistance to flow. This may mean your microbore could effectively be oversized. The other benefit here is if you half your heating load, your radiators also become bigger relative to your heat demand, and your heat pump efficiency can jump from a standard 350% to 500%. So if you receive a quote for three grand to repipe your system, perhaps ask if that money is better spent on insulation. As with a heat pump, this investment will compound for years to come. If after insulation measurements, you still find that microbore isn't really gonna work, try tip number three, use hydraulic separation. If your property heat loss is above say 7.5 kilowatts, you're likely to need hydraulic separation anyway. Hydraulic separation is when a second circulation pump is installed and the two circulation pumps, they're the pumps that pump the water around the radiators, are decoupled by joining the flow and return together so they essentially have their own circuits to pump around. If you're an engineer, think low loss headers, close couple T's and buffers. This way the radiators can run at a slightly slower flow rate than the heat pump if required. The heat pump will be kept happy and all the radiators will heat up. The downside is that this will mean the heat pump will have to work at a slightly higher temperature than the radiators, which will cause a slight efficiency drop. This is called distortion and is covered in our video, why not to use a low loss header. Tip number four is to simply repipe the system. This will mean you're less likely to get blockages and no one can accidentally sabotage your heating system by knocking a pipe. It also means you'll naturally have more volume in your system. And if you do have hydraulic separation, you can much more closely match the flow rates and maximize scop. A quality heating engineer will understand these options. If you are a heating engineer and you don't understand, don't worry, I have 100% been there. Just check out our heating systems design course. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has been helpful. If it has, hit like, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.